Hello, this is Ronan and Moog. In this video, I'm going to show how to create raw templates to be used with SAP data. And uh, after that, we will uh, show the generation of uh, Word documents with SAP data uh, from this uh, template uh, specifically. Okay, let's begin with the first stage. The first stage is to create a documented template. This is the template that contains uh, three separate tables and uh, three fields, including uh, this one, it's four fields. And this is the first step. Now, for the second step, we have, we have to create this customization in the OX4 SAP application. First, we'll copy this data to be used later and we create a new template code. This is the new one. As you can see, it's a new one and we have to fill out this data. I copied this data to be used in here. These are the patterns that we save the template and for the output directory where the generated documents will be outputted and we will use this structure as the main structure later you will see why I call it main structure and first we have to we have to import the documents as we have shown in the first step. Just a minute. As you can see, it copied all the tables and the content controls, which are the fields inside the customization. I do it with copy paste because it's the same, the same names as the structures. I will paste it in here and also for the content controls, the fields, which must be easier this, uh, this way. Okay, I call it the same and we will fill this, this checkbox. <coughs> and now we have to fill the fields that are going to be used inside the tables. Uh, one table after another. We will begin with this one. This one is the addresses info type. Yes, we'll begin with begin data. S excuse me, begin date. End date. Brass City and the district. Yes, not the district, the postal code. So we copied it. We go to the second one. Also, we are going to fill the fields. Also, begin date and date. This is the organization assignment info type. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. We have to get the bookers, the works, and uh, we have another one. Sort it. You get the last one, should be worse, something like this. Just a minute. Okay. Never mind, let's take this one and we close it. And the last one the last table. We begin with the dates. The 
This is the bank details info type. Yes. Now we have to connect these tables with the main structure as I showed you. We do it by switch on this and for each one of them I will choose the personal number also for this and also for the last one. Now let's export the template. Just a minute, I have just to copy this one because this is an old data. Yes, it's the same. And we will export the template for its location, the template path. And and we will save the customization. Add now. Let's open another session and we will create the word selection. It means that the, the, we generate now a program that will generate these word documents, including the SAP data. So we have to choose a template code. We choose this one, as you see. As you can see, I haven't uh, uh, put this description, never mind. And now I want to choose some, some selection fields. Later you will see what's happened with this, okay? And what's happened in here, I've generated this program. I will copy this program and I will go to SA38, if you don't have SE38, and, okay, I have this program here, this is what the program generated for us, and let's run it, okay, as you can see, what I've chosen there, the fields are the selection fields here, nice, so let's choose some data in here, I run it for these personal numbers and you can see that the output directory is empty. Now let's run it and we'll go here and we see the documents are generated as we said before. So we have done three steps for generating this program and now after executing this program with a variant we are uh, we have the generated documents let's see one or two to see what output we have as you can see in here uh, we have four this one and let's see another one as you can see they don't have here the ID number, but they have the names, they have the addresses, organization assignment, and bank details. Thank you very much for watching.